Welcome back to round two of our weekly Thursday night Kessel Run tournament here at Card Addicts in Birmingham, Alabama. We are once again hosted by the Outer Rim Smugglers, our local competitive group here in Birmingham. This is round two. On the left, we've got Matthew running Han Kira HQ. Steven on the right playing Iden Mother with Armored Reinforcement. Matthew will have no allegiance as his plot. Which allows both Han and Kira to have one additional health. Han Kira wants to go fast, get as many weapons out early, get damage on the table, and resolve. While Ida and Mother are going to um, be trying to get out either the Arc Starfighter or the Dooku Sailor, depending upon which deck Steven decided to bring tonight. Now, as we already know, as Steven uh, does his weekly Outer Deck, Outer Rim Deck of the Week, that this is indeed the Dooku Sailor version. So we'll see how well it plays. All right, both guys are mulligan, trying to get those optimal cards for the first round. Matthew will be playing on Theed, Royal Palace, which is sensible for his deck. And Steven's going to be looking to try to get on weapons at Factory Alpha early. Iden is uh, her ability allows, once her dice are in the pool, that the opponent cannot take additional actions. So no ambushes. No, if, if he were in a red, no attack max, anything like that. Pink and switch goes out the window. All the weapons with ambush are out the window. And we get into the roll off. Matthew whiffs terribly. So Steven will win. He'll take Weapons Factory Alpha. So at this point, the Dooku Sailor will be able to come out for one. Leaves him one resource for mitigation or an upgrade of any sort. Steven's also running that beautiful armored reinforcement plot that was custom made by our own Mike Kotar. Thanks, Mike, for making those also battlefields for our Birmingham Regional earlier this year. Here comes a Sailor. The ability on the Sailor is to, act, once you activate this, you can draw a card. Matthew puts one shield on both Han and Kira, so he'll roll out Han first. Han hits the special and a two range, early damage on the board. Steven will hit and motive the range, he'll call range, doesn't hit, gets a discard instead. So here's two indirect, Matthew can show a hero card to gain a resource and a villain card to force Steven to lose a resource. So he shows a drop in to gain the resource and the bait and switch to force Steven to lose his. So Matthew is now at three resources and Steven is out of resources. Okay, Sailor activates, hits on a two focus, Steven will draw his card. Look like I feel your anger. Right. Kara comes out. It's at two range and a resource. Get a probe from Steven. We know Matthew has a drop in and a bait and switch in there already. He hasn't used any cards, so there's a, a legitimate chance to pull some events from Matthew's hand early. Steven gets the drop in and the uh, quick draw. And there's the bait and switch. Matthew can turn it to the three and pay one. He just has to go ahead and change it to the two instead and do four more additional damage. So that'll be six on Iden early turn one. Not a bad start. I almost think that going after Mother is the better play though. Her ability to automatically focus die. Steven will activate Iden. She rolls a blank and a two range. Matthew will play the double cross or move the Han character dice. 
and pay two to plop the two range back into Iden, so she's already at eight. It's almost a dead mother if he'd have changed his direction early. Mother instead will activate. Rolls a two range and a one focus. We see the odd card, so there's a change on Iden's die to a two range. Matthew will play Coercion. Energy Bow, Tac Mac, Force Jump, and Affiliate Your Anger. And Steven has no resources. Oof. There's nothing Matthew's going to be able to do right now. It's going to be a complete waste of a coercion. Yep. So Matthew was at three resources. In a good position, now down to zero resources. No cards in hand. Focus to a two resource. Matt will go ahead and just claim. Steven puts three or four into Han with the shield. It'll be three. Steven will take one of his two resources to drop down an energy bow and pays the last one for a force jump. Looks like we're set and ready to go for round two. Matthew having the battlefield, the ambush weapons, and additional actions are online right now. There's a hidden blaster. It's like a quick draw, yep. So there's our quick draw. A hidden blaster's on top, so that's probably, yep, that's what he's going to play. Roll out high. It's on the two range, the one range, and the discard. It's going to put Iden at 11. Matthew makes a smart play here. He goes ahead. He knows that which magic was what was on top of the deck for Steven last round. He knows that's what Steven will do first thing is witch magic. So he goes in friends and low places to get rid of the witch magic. At least the three on the table still, so Steven can mitigate if he has the cards to do it. But as we just saw, he doesn't. So Mother is fully healthy and loaded up. Iden is currently at 8 health. Matthew cannot kill her quite yet. So he'll go in to activate. Okay, so he gets double resources. I'll go ahead and shoot the three and I'm putting her at one health. I'm not sure that's the right decision either. If he didn't have mitigation earlier, he wouldn't have he would have already used it. Probably should have rolled out Kira and tried to threaten lethal. Sailor rolls out two shields. Matty immediately brings out Kira, who rolls a blank and a resource. So Steven will pay one to fill your anger. He's going to take the resource die off Akira. There's a discard to reroll from Matthew. <laughs> it's the same thing. Blink and a resource. So the deck is so fast for Matthew that he is already he's activated, he's already used his resources. Steven hasn't even touched Mother yet. So Steven will take two shields on Iden. Matthew will go ahead and just take a dollar off Akira. There's 
Here's one for a DH-17 blaster. And then Mother is literally locked and loaded now. Has free mitigation with the force jump die. Has some modified sides on the DH and the energy bow. And the free focus on her. So this is going to be... Unless Matthew has a bunch of zero cost mitigation, this is going to be a rough round for him. So Matthew chooses to pass. Mother's going to activate. Gets a discard, a shield. One range, one resource, and a blink. Any whiffs on the hidden motive? Matthew will discard the hyperspace jump. Rolls a resource. Not sure that's a good play either at this point. A lot of mistakes on Matthew's side early. Stephen will discard a reroll. He still has attack mac in hand, which is of no good right now. So what he does reroll is a two focus resource, resource range plus two, a shield and a resource. Lots of damage on the table and lots of ability to add to that. Steven's going to mill over his options. Looks like he's got a Phasma Blaster in hand. Looks like he's going to go ahead and just discard the Phasma Blaster. He wants to try to maximize damage. I'm assuming he's going to go try for a kill on Han. He has focus showing on the table already. Matthew is claimed. Steven rolls out, gets a two range on Iden, that'll help. So there's a two focus. Plus two on the energy bow. Yep, that's enough to kill Han. It's nine damage. Just like that. Turn two, Han is off the table. Kira has no weapons. Iden has three shields. So she's at four health. What looked like a decent start from Matthew has turned into an utter unmitigated potential disaster here. So we see another coercion in Matthew's hand. There's a, there's a hyperspace. Looked like an indifferent as well. So starting around three, Matt will roll a blank and a plus two resource. Steven will think about rolling out the sailor? No, this has not to. He's going to go ahead and witch magic. It's on all three, so there's three. So yeah, this is, this is going in the wrong direction real fast for Matthew. That is both witch magic, so there's no more healing on the table. I don't know that Steven needs it at this point, though. So Matthew will discard... Coercion to reroll. Hits double blanks. I think you can feel some anger coming soon. There's a sailor. And Matthew just says, screw it. We're going to hyperspace jump. He wants his battlefield. I think Matthew's definitely a little frustrated here. This is not how... This is not how it was supposed to go.
I think it was a gutsy call to go after Aiden. Um, the wrong call, absolutely. But <laughs> he gave it a shot and just didn't have the, the steam at the end to knock her off the table. And now he's paying the price for it. So he pays two for the holdout after using the action on Thede. Rolls a two range, a one range, and a blank. Okay, so we have Steven deflects a two back into Matthew, so Kira will take one off the shield. Just discard to re-roll. So he uses take flight, looks like. So the sailor rolls out with a two shield, he'll draw a card. Matthew has a pickings, so it's like another take flight. That's what he's going to do, he's just going to take flight again. Steven will pay one for the energy bow. That's pretty much Matthew's turn. We know he has a hybrid. We know he has um, another. Well, he doesn't have a coercion anymore. He has an easy pickings. Yeah. And I think in a different. Steven rolls out Aiden with a two focus, a blank, and a blank. Matthew passes. Mother will roll out. He has to discard a blank, a one range special on the fourth jump. So he used Mother's ability to turn the Sailor to a two focus. Matthew will play easy pickings to get rid of both focuses. Steven discards his fourth jump to re roll. Ugh, blanks. Blank, 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 discard, and a resource. So Matthew pays the one to remove the item die. I think he knew that either that was going to be discarded. Steven discards the reroll. It's so a two range, a one focus, and a blank. Matt goes ahead and claims. Looks like there's five. So that'll be five and a Kira. That puts her at seven health left. Aiden is showing with four health remaining, and Mother is still fully healthy. We go on to round five. Matthew will start off with two resources, power actions into a third. It's not beginning many upgrades this game. Hardly any at all. So there's a discard, a blank, and a resource on Kira. Steven will go ahead and immediately roll out Aiden. Aiden rolls a two range, a discard, and a blank. So there's two for a double cross. That's the second one he's played on Aiden this game. Puts Aiden at 10. Sailor rolls out with a two shield. See, so he'll draw his card. There's a bait and swish, and that's not going to work because of Aiden's die being in the pool. Yep, and that's what Steven's pointing out. Yep. So it puts it puts him at le puts uh, Aiden at lethal. But that's why I Aiden makes the game fair. 
she makes it where you take a turn, I take a turn. I think you'll see a lot more of her going forward in the meta. Steven drops down a Force Illusion. Ugh. It's going to be rough. So Matthew will discard. It's a shield. Mother will roll in with a lot of blinks and a one range. That's a so it's a probe. Hit a hidden motive earlier now, probe. Matthew goes ahead and still pops a two into Iden. Gets rid of a probe, looks like a pin down. Steven will discard his best defense to re-roll. It's like a resource, resource, and a lot of one range. Matthew goes ahead and just takes a shield. Steven will roll. There's some damage. See a two, a one, a two, and a blank. Matthew will pay one to indifferent, one of the two ranges. So Steven has two dollars left, Matthew has none. I think this game is pretty much Dunsies. So Steven will discard to re-roll. Hits a special on force jump. No additional damage. Matthew will just claim. I will say Steven's deck is looking a little low. He's got two cards in hand. So there's a focus to a two focus. You'll see a couple of two ranges come out. There's seven. So with that shield that does, that keeps him alive for one more round. So Kira's up to eleven, but with no allegiance I put she gets one additional health. We can go into the next turn. Matthew's got another holdout in his hand, I see. So power action first. Gain that third resource. Yep, there's a hidden. Goes ahead and plays a hidden blaster for two. So ambush, she'll roll out everything. It's a resource, a resource, a plus two, and a shield. That's not gonna That's not gonna help any. Steven will roll out Aiden. Yep, and that's going to do it. Just went, went gambled early on Aiden, didn't hit, and he suffered the price for it. So congrats to Steven for winning round two. He'll go on to the finals, where we will see you soon.